So this is a PS4 wired controller, but inside of it, there is a retro Pi board. And as you can see, I modified the controller where it has a fan. I see a lot of people post videos with uh, retro pies inside of controllers. And I actually did this one and realized after about uh, 30 minutes of gameplay that uh, the board started getting hot and pretty much the, uh, the game started slowing down. So I did a little remodification. As you can see here, I added a fan to it and added a, uh, a heat sink to the board itself. Had to do a modification to the plastic of the, uh, the controller, but it actually got the temperature to a, a pretty stable temperature where it actually run the game smoothly. Uh, eventually added a light, as you can see here as well. The games actually run pretty well uh, off of this controller. I was very surprised. I thought because this was a PS4 controller that it was actually going to draw a lot of power, but believe it or not, the uh, it, the, the games ran really well. Uh, I'll let you. I'm pretty much going to show how I how I did this and how it's set up. I'm going to show some games now. I have uh, Genesis some Genesis games. Here's Sonic. I'm going to play Sonic. Uh, the PS4 controller is one of the best controllers. Uh, out there this is not necessarily an actual ps4 controller but it's one of those knockoff controllers that i that I got on amazon but it works really well uh, considering getting a raspberry pi inside of these things uh, i think it's quite amazing that this is actually possible uh, show some gameplay here Uh, games run very smoothly, as we all know. The, the RetroPie runs a lot of the uh, older stuff really well. I actually have some PlayStation games on here as well. PlayStation 1. A uh, trick with the PlayStation 1 games, which I will show, uh, there's an emulator uh, that runs really well, other than the default emulator on the RetroPie itself. Uh, the games. But I find I, I like uh, a lot of these old school games like Sonic. Uh, most of these most of these games I haven't played in a very long time, uh, as you can see here. <laughs> but uh, it's it's cool to go back and actually revisit these games. I do have the console. I still own most of these games, but uh, to have it all in one place, especially on this controller, is quite amazing. Now I'm gonna put some uh, some. PlayStation games on and show some of that. Now I'm going to try some uh, PlayStation 1 games uh, off the controller here. Uh, I find to actually play any PlayStation games off of a, especially a Pi Zero W or a Pi Zero, it's quite remarkable. Now the default emulator uh, on on the on RetroPie, I don't think it runs really well. Uh, there's some sound issues. There's some some glitchy things as well. You'll notice if you play a PlayStation 1 game on, off of it. So what I did was I, from the uh, RetroPie setup, there's an optional uh, emulator uh, menu. So you, you actually download more emulators. A lot of, if, if you know RetroPie well. Uh, and the emulator I downloaded was the uh, PCSX uh, Rearmed. And I find that that works really well with the Pi Zero W. I think they overclock it a little bit to uh, for the games to run. And it runs pretty well. Uh, as I have, as you can see here, I have Resident Evil 2 running, one of my favorite PlayStation games. And I'm gonna get it set up here. Off the controller, actually, the thumbstick actually uh, is the directional pad for me. I, I That makes the game uh, more enjoyable for me. Uh, the sound from this emulator uh, is crisp. You don't really hear any crackling like you do with the with the uh, default emulator. Uh, the gameplay itself, I think, runs smooth. Personally, uh, I had a friend over not too long ago, and he thought this was actually running off a of PlayStation. And when I showed him the controller, he was he was quite surprised, and he actually wanted me to give him this one. But uh, I told him I would 
make him make him one. He was thrilled about that. But as you can see here, uh, the game game runs well. I actually uh, trying to do this single handedly, by the way, <laughs> holding the cell phone recording this. But uh, the game experience, I actually played actually played Resident Evil 2 and actually played it straight through, and uh, it it was it was enjoyable. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I uh, got this controller laid out to actually uh, to show you what's what it looks like inside. So pretty much this is a PS4 uh, wire controller. These controls are have a lot of space inside. They actually fit a Pi Zero W as you can see here. Uh, what I did was I soldered the data cables directly to the board from the controller and uh, the power power from the power supply from the controller as well directly to the the, the Pi Zero W board. Uh, this wire here is the HDMI cable, which I modified. You had to do some modification to get these uh, cords to fit in here. Uh, it's especially going to have to uh, use some tools to get rid of some of the plastic pieces inside the controller to get the board directly directly down. Uh, but once you do that, the HDMI cable would fit fits perfectly in there. As you can see here, I, I added a, a light uh, to the board, uh, which actually makes it re really cool. It's a nice little feature once you turn the pot, once you turn the uh, the controller on. Uh, as far as the power supply goes, the it's it's great because the controller itself you use the uh, USB cable and you just hot uh, you just uh, uh, solder it right to the uh, Pi Zero W board. Uh, once you get that all in place, it should run well. Now, my advice before you even do any of this, before you set up the controller with the Pi Zero W, would be actually to take your Pi Zero W and hook the controller up to it first before you do any modifications. That way you can map the controls out, you can go into every uh, emulator that you have on your system and map the controls out that way. Because we all know that RetroPie can sometimes be a little difficult mapping out the controllers. You might need a keyboard to actually do some mapping for your control. But however, once you start this, uh, once you solder data cables, data wires to the, to the board itself, you won't be able to add a keyboard to this. This is a Pi Zero W, so you could probably go online uh, on your computer and uh, update it from your computer, update the config files from the controllers if you know how to do that. But uh, this is such, it would be easier just to get the controller set up with, with all your, your emulators. It's a really nice controller. Uh, haven't had any issues with it at, yet. So uh, let, let me know what you guys think of it. And uh, if you want to see any more videos of me actually getting one of these set up, uh, and thanks again.